Hello and welcome everyone to our another episode of CDS Views. So we have seen lots of things in the previous session. We saw how we can expose our CDS View as a O data service. Now in this part, we are going to see how to consume our CDS View using ALV IDA framework framework work in a web report okay so this is what we are going to discuss in this particular video how we can consume our cds view as a data source in a web report using alv ida framework alv ida is the new way of alv right which was introduced in web on hana as for hana part right so we can use our cds view as a data source as a data source data source for alv ida alv integrated data access for more details kindly watch our alv ida playlist so we can use our cds view as a data source for alv ida okay so what i will do i will go and check my standard class so i will log into my sap system and i will check my standard class I will log in to my SAP system and I will check my standard class. I will go to SC24 and this is my ALV IDA class. And if I check its methods that are here, let's check the methods. If I check the methods, I will find out that there is a method called create for CDS view. So here it's a description. If you will check its description, it is create ALV with IDA for core data services. Okay, so we can use this particular method, right? We can, we can use method of this CLSLV GUI table IDA class, class for our requirement because this is a separate method created by SAP system, right? Which I can use it for consuming my CDS view inside a ABAP report using ALV IDA, okay? So what I will do now, I will create a program. I will go to SE38. I will go to SE38 there and I will create a program consuming CDS in ALV underscore IDA okay go for create button pass a title for the program so consuming serious view in alv ida and in the type i will pass a executable i will pass a package and transport request package and transport request perfect now we will call this method okay so i will call this particular method so class name here i will pass class name and this is a static method right this is a static method so copy the method name and pass it here control plus space and press enter so we have got four kinds of exceptions here so add a try block I will add the try block and I will add and try here. Now in between we need to pass our CDS view name. So if you go and check its particular this particular method, you will find out if you go and check this method parameters, there is a CDS view name and in it it is expecting the database table name, right? Or CDS view name. So I will go to my Eclipse, this is my CDS view. I will copy the name of my CDS view. This is my CDS view. I'll copy its name and I will simply pass it in my ABAP program here. CDS view. Okay. Now this particular method will return us the object of this particular interface. So it will return us the reference of this interface. So I'll copy this interface and I will create a reference. I will create a, I will declare a reference here, data, lo underscore alv type ref to our interface. 
and I will receive its object hello underscore alv right then I will uncomment all the catch for the runtime errors so now we are getting its object okay then we will go inside this particular interface and we will call its full screen method this full screen method what this full screen is going to do it will activate the full screen interface so it will activate the full screen interface and if you check its parameter you will receive the reference of another interface right so we need to call this particular full screen method i will go back to my method section here and i will call this full screen okay so using our LO ALV, first let me check whether is there any exception for it. Yes, we have got one exception. So we need to call this particular method. Call method LO underscore ALV. And we have got our full screen. Okay, so full screen. Full screen yeah when one catch block is there so try and end try and in between i will receive the object of my full screen so let's pass the reference name here for this if salv gui full screen ida so i'll create a reference data hello underscore full screen type ref to our full screen idea interface and i will receive its object so hello full screen hello full screen perfect i will uncomment the catch now inside this interface you have a instance method display which you can directly use to display your output okay so let's call it hello underscore full screen display method so display display method and activate the program okay activate the program so this is what we are going to see let's put a breakpoint here and i will go for execute button i will go for execute button right let's go to desktop 3 and I will press F6, F6 here, no catch block triggered, so no exception triggered, I will receive my reference object here, perfect, I am receiving, then I will go for execute button, this will return us the reference of hello full screen, so we are receiving here the object of class pool, so it's perfect, now this is display method, let's go for continue, and see our ALV is getting displayed in the same format. In the same format that you have output for your CDS view here, you can check sales document number, creation date, time, username, document category. So sales document number, but instead here it is showing the uh, text and uh, field label that you have passed inside your data element, right? So sales document created on time, uh, created by username, right? So it's created by, and this is document category right document category so it's perfect it's perfect this is how it has been created we are able to receive our cds view using alv ida okay so thank you very much for watching the video we will continue from next part